Hello everyone, it's Benoit Smith. I'm a fitness vlogger here on YouTube. And if you want to know more about me, the link will be in the description box. So go ahead and click on that and check out my channel. And it will also be a clickable annotation at the bottom of the screen. Isn't that right, Brandon? Thank you. Let me educate you guys today. What if I told you that the size of your muscles is all up to genetics? Duh, right? All right, so basically I'm gonna teach you guys why. All around the internet you see people blaming um, buff guys, everybody that's in shape on genetics. And I'm gonna give you a big reason why everybody has a unique physique and some guys can get bigger than others. Yes, some of you may have guessed it already. We're talking about myostatin. What is myostatin, you ask? So everyone muscle size has a limit because of this protein called myostatin. Myostatin is the main factor in determining how large your muscles can grow. So everyone has different levels of myostatin. Um, it has been studies done. Most champion bodybuilders have a very low level of myostatin, meaning that they have more potential to grow. Everybody always wondered, why can some guys always beef up and get bigger faster than others? So myostatin was first discovered in Belgian blue cows. They always wondered why these cows were so big. These cows had two to three times more muscle mass than normal cows. And when once research was done, they found out that these cows didn't have a gene that produces myostatin. The gene in your body which creates myostatin is called GDF8. Let's not make this a little too complicated, so I'm gonna dumb it down a bit. And just because those cows didn't have this gene that produces the myostatin, Without exercise and without a change of diet, they still had two to three times more mass than average cows. This was also found in rats, dogs, even some babies, and of course, champion bodybuilders. Let me show you a few pictures of some animals that have this mild statin deficiency and a picture of a pro bodybuilder that has a very low myostatin level. I'll show you the pictures right now. You seen those pictures? Those pictures are actually real, folks. So you see this protein that is found in your muscles. So the amount of myostatin that you have inside of your muscles determines how big they can get. And that's exactly why some people can bulk up easier than others, while others struggle to gain weight and to gain size. Like me, for an example. So I know some of you guys are probably down off of this fact, like, oh, it's up to my genetics. Well, let me tell you one thing. Your myostatin levels are the way they are for a reason. And this reason being that this is optimal for your body. It is optimal for mechanical and metabolic efficiency in your own body. So your myostatin levels are strictly meant for you. You know, everybody's body isn't the same. So don't worry about trying to look like the next person. With hard work, you can obtain the best physique you could possibly obtain. Push your body to its limits and you'll have your own unique look about you, which makes you different from everybody else. So stop trying to look like somebody else. Another thing that I want to talk about is that some supplement companies actually have claims that they have things called myostatin inhibitors. These claims are saying that they can lower the myostatin in your body, which can overall produce more muscle growth because your muscles can grow beyond the limits that they're supposed to be growing, you know. And I'm going to let you guys now know now that it's all bullshit. So don't go buying any myostatin inhibitors. They are not backed by science. They have never been scientifically proven. So don't waste your money on that. I hope this video was educational to you guys in some way. Um, remember to check me out when you have a chance. Let me know that you found me through this video. And thanks for having me, Brandon. It was an honor. Goodbye, y'all.